okay so today we will begin the mechanism of protein synthesis now from the life class of the last session that I have taken on the last class on Tuesday <coughs> that is you were very clear on the pre basis of previous classes that what are codons and what are the property of codons and which amino acid does a codon codes for how many codons are there and also how codons are were cracked then what are the specific amino acids about its specificity unambiguity okay all these things you have learned and in a brief note you know that the messenger RNA that is there if it is carrying a sequence then the ribosomes bind to the messenger RNA with its small and large subunits forming a structure known as the polyribosome structure or polysome structure. Now what happens is inside this ribosome the ribosomal RNA are there which bonds up with this and binds with this whatever and then what happens is the codons are being recognized in 3-3 numbers to give rise to or code for a specific amino acid and the bonding between the amino acids makes the peptide chain but when these codes will be read the transfer RNA whose structure is almost like this is a clover leaf model of transfer RNA the transfer RNA has an anticodon here and the anti the transfer RNA moves into this place and with the help of the anticodon site that is present here binds with the codon now as because the anticodon sequence will just be complementary to the codon sequence will be complementary to the codon sequence if it is to bound with AUG then if it is 5 prime to 3 prime then definitely it will be U A C 3 prime to 5 prime present here okay 5 prime to 3 prime from this direction this is known as an anticodon and this anticodon will recognize this codon so already the transfer RNA knows that the which codon to recognize and already it is fixed that which codon will give rise to which amino acid the amino acid is actually loaded here based on what anticodon is the transfer RNA carrying and on the basis of that a tra charged transfer RNA that means a transfer RNA carrying a specific amino acid is here now then what happens is another transfer RNA comes carrying another amino acid another transfer RNA comes carrying another amino acid which all reads the codons and then there is bonding between these amino acid which then gives rise to a polypeptide this is a brief understanding of how the polypeptide forms now there is lot of insight into the entire structure of what happens and we will try to study that that what happens here okay
and as you now already know that uh, how what is the overall process of protein synthesis but not the internal details now if i go into the overall process first of all some bits and pieces of information now i hope that you will understand this bits and pieces of information first of all the growing polypeptide chain or the fundamental process of protein synthesis is the formation of peptide bond between amino acids and amino acid have a c and a, uh, you know n terminal bonded to c and h and uh, sorry h and then a you know uh, r group which varies and according to that the uh, nature of amino acid varies however if there is another amino acid like this and then there is c and n there is actually c means coh is there and n means nh2 and here one coh and nh2 and again one h and another r group is there and this coh points up with this noh and here peptide bond is created this creation of peptide bond and details of peptide bond were told previously in earlier classes that i have already given to you however so if there is one amino acid then there is a peptide bond with another amino acid here we can see the c terminal end is free and hence when the amino acid will grow into a polypeptide chain then here nc bonding nc bonding C N C N okay C so what happens sorry N uh, so C N so here it will be C here it will be N here it will again be C terminal here it will be N means C O H N H 2 this side C O H C O H N H 2 so I'll just cut this so it's actually how it ha what happens is C O O H N H two and again C O O H N H two and again at C O O H and N H two and there it are various R groups linked to it which then are responsible for forming the secondary and tertiary structures of the proteins however but then uh, there is also an H link to so a C terminal end of the polypeptide will be free at this side and an N terminal end will be free at this side so polypeptide synthesis goes on from C terminal end to N terminal end so that is to be kept in mind that polypeptide synthesis goes on from the C terminal end to N terminal end. I hope that this is clear to you. This is the first bit and piece of information that polypeptides run from C terminal end to N terminal end. Now you see proteins are made up of 20 amino acids. Proteins are basically made up of are basically made up of 20 amino acids. So there will be 20 amino acids okay and definitely from c terminal end sorry definitely from c terminal end to n terminal end the polypeptide synthesis will go on okay now to accomplish this there are three types of rna that are being used that is the messenger rna which carries the information the ribosomal RNA which is inside the ribosome and binds with the messenger RNA and also uh, carries a lot of function and then there is the transfer RNA okay so these three RNAs take part and ribosomes take part in protein synthesis now first of all if, if you little bit analyze the messenger RNA for the structure of how protein synthesis will occur or the sequences on the basis of protein synthesis what you will observe 
Now, if you look into the structure of the messenger RNA, you see, uh, in case of the eukaryotic messenger RNA, which is monocystronic in nature, which you already know that it is monocystronic in nature. Now, what happens is that this is the long messenger RNA, suppose. There is a 5 prime cap. Okay, poly A cap. Oh, sorry, 5 prime capping. Okay, poly A tailing is there. 5 prime capping. A 5 prime cap is present. Okay, of multiple phosphorus. That is known as 5 prime capping. Now, after 5 prime capping, there is a little bit of region which is known as the 5 prime UTR region or untranslated region which is not translated this is also known as leader sequence okay and then there is the start codon AUG you already know about codons that AUG is the start codon Start codon is that codon which is always resides at the beginning, gives formyl methionine or codes for formyl methionine. Later on, if this formyl methionine is required, it is kept. If not required, it is taken off by uh, enzymes or if required, it is converted into methionine. Anyway, the AUG sequence is there. Now what happens is after this AUG sequence is there, then there are sequences which will be read codon wise. Okay. And then there will be a stop codon. U A A is one of the stop codons. So when there will be a stop codon. So this stop codon which is U A A is present in a particular sequence and at, after this there is another sequence which is the 3 prime this is the 3 prime end this is the 5 prime end so this is known as the 3 prime UTR region or untranslated region and it is also known as trailer sequence okay here also no translation occurs because the stop codon is an eye and from here the polypeptide is coded <coughs> So that is quite interesting. So that is the structure of eukaryotic and in case of prokaryotic messenger RNA, what happens? There is no poly A capping. Sorry. Hold on. Sorry, I should have said here the 5 prime capping these three phosphorus are uh, the triphosphates of the last nucleotide uh, anyway this is 5 prime end and at the 5 prime end there is a g capping or uh, you know you know the guanosins are added lot of guanosins not phosphorus that was a slip up tongue so that was poly uh, 5 prime capping anyway in prokaryote you will not find such 5 prime cappings on the other hand you will under after the 5 prime utr region you will find a start codon and after that you will find a stop codon and again after a certain distance you will again find a start codon and again find a stop codon and this portion is known as the intron as in intron or intercystronic region now what happens is that from here you get one polypeptide polypeptide one and from here you get another polypeptide that is polypeptide two so polypeptide one and polypeptide two are the two polypeptides that you get from these two sequences okay so uh, so i hope that you have understood the difference there is no poly a tailing also in this case there are poly a tailing in case of prokaryote, eukaryote and in this case it is not there also. So I hope that you have understood. Now another bits and piece of information is that always remember there is a term 
known as ORF and the meaning of ORF is open reading frame you see open reading frame are the frames in the or the reading portion of the codons in the messenger RNA portions of the codons of the messenger RNA where there is no stop codon present no stop codon present so it will be easily read and protein will be synthesized from it but if there is multiple presence of uh, stop codons at different places never this messenger RNA can be or this reading frame can be well read or polypeptide can be produced so that's why these are not open reading frames I hope that you have understood remember a particular sequence A particular reading sequence can be have three reading frames three reading frames how sir if you begin from here you will get one two three in this way so this is one reading frame same reading frame will change if you don't start reading from this nucleotide and start reading from here so this three will form one this three will form one this three will form one this three will perform so this gives the amino acid 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 which forms a protein again this gives the amino acid this gives the amino acid this gives the amino acid and this gives the amino acid which forms a different protein altogether but then in the same reading frame if you start reading from this position leaving the first two then this forms an codon then this forms an codon this forms an codon so three reading frames are there these are known as reading frame that how you read it If you start from here, you read it in this way. If you start from here, you read it in this way. These are known as reading frames. Okay, but if you start from here, you read in this way. So altogether three different proteins can come from a particular messenger RNA, but does that come? No, one protein only come. So that means out of the three reading frame, only one reading frame, only one reading frame is correct. So that is what also I wanted to tell you about the messenger RNA. Now let's go and little bit understand about the transfer RNA structure also so that it helps us to understand the, uh, the protein synthesis process okay if you look into the structure of the transfer rna this is the clover leaf model structure clover this is known as clover leaf model okay this is the clover leaf model structure of the transfer rna and uh, you see that uh, it looks like this now why the structure transfer rna became like this if the RNA strand of the transfer RNA was like this, that is 5 prime to 3 prime, there were lot of complementary parts in different alternate regions. So this part tried to bond up this part. Here the complementary regions are present which bond up with each other and created such a kind of structure. Okay, <clears throat> which is also very much helpful because here we can see that there is a D loop, there is a T psi C loop, there is an anticodon loop which carries the anticodon from 3 prime to 5 prime end. Okay, and the anticodon is present here. Okay, so uh, that is the thing. Depending on what anticodon is present, it will bind with a codon. So it will bind with a 5 prime to 3 prime <coughs> UAG codon. Okay 
and it will bind with it so whatever amino acid uag will coat for that amino acid will be loaded in the three prime end of this that's why it is known as the acceptor arm which accepts the amino acid okay here the amino acid stays suppose for example this codon codes for glycine so here glycine will be there and how the transfer rna even before entering into the translation process knows that which amino acid to be coded because of the signal from the anticodon because the anticodon knows that to which codon it will bind so the codon will give a specific amino acid and the anticodon will give rise to the or make the transfer rna bind to that specific amino acid okay so that is the <coughs> thing that happens and so that's why this is known as the anticodon loop so this is how the transfer rna is now in the cell uh, for protein synthesis there are 20 amino acids required for which in prokaryotes in prokaryotes there are uh, about uh, 30 to 35 transfer rnas and in eukaryotes there are i think uh, 50 transfer rnas Okay, so that means each of the trans specific transfer RNA each of the specific transfer RNA will bind uh, to a specific amino acid but for that 20 transfer RNAs would be enough but more are there so that means there are multiple transfer RNA which binds to the same amino acids or carries the save anticodons okay so that is the thing you should understand such type of transfer rna which carries the same amino acids because it has to because more than 20 amino acids uh, 20 amino acids are there, uh, are there and more than that transfer rnas are there such transfer rnas which uh, you know carries the same amino acid are known as iso accepting transfer rna iso expecting means same accepting through the acceptor arm okay so that is how the transfer rna bees inside the cell so i hope that you have understood the details of transfer rna and what is the function of d loop and t psi c loop they bind with the ribosome <coughs> they bind with the ribosome i hope that you have understood this part well So this is the part that I have taught you. Then comes the discussion about the ribosomal RNA <coughs> or rRNA. Now ribosomal RNA or rRNA <coughs> lies inside the ribosomes. Okay. Now actually the ribosomal RNA also you know ribosomes in case of uh, prokaryotes <coughs> the ribosomes are 70s ribosomes carrying a 30s uh, and a 50s subunit a small and a big subunit s means Wedberg unit this is a unit of centrifugation it's a name of a scientist and <coughs> Uh, both of them carry an assembly of uh, ribosomal RNA inside them. Both of them carry ribosomal RNA inside them. It is present in prokaryotes, 70S ribosome. Sir, 30S plus 50S is 80S. So why are you uh, writing 70S? The answer is that they are not additive, okay? Because they are just this small subunit, centrifuges at this unit, big at this unit, and the entire at this unit. In the contrary, the eukaryotic ribosomes are one is small subunit is 40s big subunit is 60s and the total Wedberg unit is 80s so 80s rna they also carry ribosomal rna inside this the function of the ribosomal rna is that they uh, helps in protein assembly the ribosomal rna also act as ribozymes Okay, you will learn in the process of uh, uh, details process of the uh, translation that they act as ribozymes means they sometimes act as enzymes also. Okay, which you must have learnt in your earlier classes also. And they help in the assembly of the proteins, making of the peptide bond, okay, and uh, release of the proteins, all these things they are involved in. If you go into a little bit further details about the ribosome and ribosomal RNA, 
so little bit details about the ribosomes <coughs> and ribosomal rna and r proteins you see ribosomes are made up of ribosomal rna and r proteins as you already know <coughs> because ribosomes are assembly of proteins and ribosomal rna that's why ribosomes are also co called ribonucleoproteins ribosomes are also called ribonucleoproteins that you should keep in your mind you see in case of prokaryotes if you see okay in case of prokaryotes there is a 30s sub unit wedberg unit there is a i told you the details of this why 30s and another is the 50s <coughs> now there are r proteins inside it there are r proteins inside it there is ribosomal rna inside it there is ribosomal rna inside it there are two types of ribosomal rna one is the 16s that is 16 wedberg unit ribosomal rna and another is the 23s ribosomal rna these two types of ribosomal rna are present and obviously no, not to mention that the ribosomal rna that is present in the 30s sub unit of the ribosome is an 16s ribosomal rna and here is a 23s ribosomal rna apart from the 23s ribosomal rna there is a small 5s ribosomal rna here the number of nuclear uh, nucleotides is around 1500 nucleotides which forms the 16s ribosomal rna and uh, in case of the 23s around 3000 uh, uh, nucleotides are there okay 2904 that is uh, 3000 nucleotides are there so i hope that that you can keep in your mind i'm not writing that information because that is not so important but in case of eukaryotes if you see there is a uh, 40s sub unit and there is an 60s sub unit large sub unit and small sub unit and there are two types of ribosomal uh, rnas the 18s and the 28s obviously the 18s ribosomal rna lies here and the 28s ribosomal rna lies here with it a 5s ribosomal also rna lies here if you look into the 28s ribosomal rna it is made up of around 5000 nucleotides and if you look into the 18s ribosomal rna it is uh, made out of around the uh, sorry 28s is made up of around 5000 and the 18s is made up of around the 18s is already made up of around 1900 nucleotides so 3000 nucleotides 1500 nucleotides 1900 nucleotides and 5000 nucleotides anyway so they are much more bigger ribosomal rnas i hope that you understand ribosomal rnas acts as ribozymes remember ribosomal rna acts as ribozymes and apart from the ribosomal rna r proteins are present inside the r proteins are type of proteins which are the ribosomal proteins ribosomal rna ribosomal proteins are present inside the ribosomal ribosomes and ribosomal rna remember act as ribozymes means they can act as enzymes this is an exception enzymes are generally proteins but in case of ribosomes the ribosomal rna themselves act as proteins which catalyzes some of the reactions of uh, the protein synthesis or translation process which you will learn in details when i tell tell you the uh, mechanism of the protein synthesis anyway so that is another fact of ribosomes that you should know is okay suppose this is the large sub unit this is the small sub unit you have an a site and p site and an e site okay the a site is known as amino acyl amino acyl transfer rna site the p site is known as the peptidal transfer rna binding site and the e site is known as the exit site now what happens is you know that in a messenger rna the ribosomes bind and falls forms the polysome or the polyribosome structure now what happens is in one ribosome the e site the p site and the a site are there now you know how translation occurs the anti the codons are here okay the codons will be red a u g c c a u c c a u a g c g a c in this way 
when the codons will be read the transfer rna will come and bind with the anticodon with the codon the anticodon will bind with the codon and according to that the amino acid will be there and uh, this will happen sidewise and all the amino acids will be bonded up like i have given in the introduction of this particular video but then what happens is when the transfer rna enters it enters through the a site does the then sh when it enters from the a site okay at first listen first of all the first transfer rna in the initiation codon that will come at that time it will directly come into the p, p, p site that you should remember okay it will directly come into the here suppose the ribosome is bound okay it will directly come into the p site and bind to the anticodon okay then from the p, p site what will happen is the ribosome will move this side okay or the sorry the messenger rna will move this side or maybe the ribosome will move this side whichever you want to consider no problem okay some says that the uh, it is yet not understood that whether suppose this is the five prime end of the messenger rna here this is the three prime uh, the five prime to three prime addition of amino acid is only occurring but however some imagine that the messenger rna comes out like this and some imagine that the uh, the ribosomes move in this side so whatever is the situation this binding complementary binding with the anticodon and the codon with the transfer rna which is present here okay and particular transfer rna which is present here so this binding with the anticodon and the codon okay so uh, that is a uh, little bit uh, the questionable thing so now what happens is the uh, binding will be there and here and transfer rna is there here and uh, amino acid is here now when the ribosome will move this side so what will happen is actually this complementary bond will be broken down okay when the complementary bond will be broken down the ribosome will move this side uh, sorry the messenger rna will move this side or the ribosome will move this side and then the complementary bond will be broken down so the transfer rna will open and move to the e side and go out are you getting my point so that happens now what happens is at first at uh, so this is what happens inside now i will tell you one little uh, details i hope that you have understood that what happens is 5 prime to 3 prime movement of messenger rna uh, so, uh, uh, sorry 5 prime to 3 prime movement of the ribosome like this or maybe the messenger rna is moving out of the ribosome in the 5 prime direction whatever it is the complementary bond will be broken down and the transfer rna will move from the p side to the e side and go out i hope that you have understood this is what i have tried to explain here now in the small subunit and the large subunit of the ribosome there exists a groove okay there exists a groove a groove exists in the groove the addition of the peptidal bond or the uh, you know uh, the making of the peptide goes on and there is a canal in the large subunit just near the groove when the protein is being made this pass this protein through the canal and this canal is connected to endoplasmic reticulum where modification of the protein or the transfer of the protein occurs okay so i hope that you have understood that this passes through a canal okay and the protein or the junction of the canal of the ribosome with the endoplasmic reticulum is known as riboporin 1 and riboporin 2 riboporin 1 and 2 are the proteins which bind the ribosome with the endoplasmic reticulum which binds the ribosome with the endoplasmic reticulum okay and yes that is what happens so i hope that you have understood some of it
Okay, so long wait is over, at least for me. I have been trying to, you have been thinking, this is protein synthesis, porte boshe, kotona shikte holo, kodon evapare shikte holo, probability of kodon shikte holo, acta classes are to onku kora dilo probability, kodon ki have a discover uche, k Nobel Prize pai che, kon kodon dictionary ki, kon kodon er kon amino acid, ribosomal RNA ki, messenger RNA structure, untranslated reason ki, start codon ki, stop codon ki, polysystronic messenger RNA, monosystronic messenger RNA, tarpar transfer RNA structure, transfer RNA ki, kothai anti-codon carry kore, ribosome structure, ribosome er bhitore ki ache, ribosome ki bhabhe, endoplasmic reticulum er shathe bind thakhe, এতো কিছু পড়ার পর 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 তিনটা ক্লাস করার পর আজকেও একটা ক্লাসের অর্ধেক শেষ করার পর এখন গিয়ে আলটিমেটলি মেকানিজম অফ প্রোটিন সিনথেসিস ডিএনএ এর সময় ডিএনএ রেপ্লিকেশনের সময় সেন্ট্রাল ডগমার যে তিনটা পার্ট ডিএনএ এর ডিএনএ থেকে মেসেঞ্জার আরএনএ তৈরি হওয়া আর মেসেঞ্জার আরএনএ থেকে প্রোটিন তৈরি হওয়া এই তিনটা পার্টের মধ্যে এই ট্রান্সক্রিপশনটা ডিএনএ এর অ্যাপ্লিকেশনটা তো একদম সিম্পল ছিল একটা দুটো ক্লাসে হয়ে গেছে প্রোটিন সিনথেসিস সত্যি কঠিন এন্ড ইম্পর্ট্যান্ট যার জন্য আমি এত কিছু পড়াইছি ঠিক আছে তো এবার যাই হোক তো যে যে জায়গাটায় আমরা আসি সেটা হচ্ছে যে অ্যাক্টিভেশন অফ দা অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিড আর চার্জিং অফ ট্রান্সফার আরএনএ আর অ্যাক্টিভেশন অফ রাইবোজোম আর অ্যাসেম্বলি অফ অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিড ইনিশিয়েশন এলংগেশন টার্মিনেশন कोडन रिकगनेशन पेपटाइड बन फर्मेशन एट्च मेकानिजम टोटल डिटेल्स फार्स्ट एमो एसिड एक्टिवेट है ट्रांसफार एन ए चार्ज है एक्टिवेशन अफ रोजोम ठीक है असेंबलि अफ एमो एसिडस है तर आर तीनटे पार्ट इनिसिएशन एलंगेशन टार्मिनेशन एलंगेशन आर दूटा पार्ट कोडन रिकगनेशन और पेपटाइड बन फर्मेशन तो यार डिटेल्स टाइम क्योंकि जेहतु हमें आगे ही एत कि पढ़े नहीं तई ये अत सतावे ना मैं इजिली हो जाए फार्ष्ट अफ अल यूटो एकसाथे पढ़ब एक्टिवेशन अफ एमो एसिड और चार्जिंग अफ ट्रांसफार आर एन ए कि है एक्टिवेशन अफ एमो एसिड एबार सपोज धर एक एमो एसिड आठ वो अमानो एसिडा एटीपिर सियक्ट कर रियक्ट कर अमो एसिड और ए एम पी जोड़ा लागे और दो फसफेट बड़िए चले जाए एम पी मैं एडिनोसिन मोनोफसफेट ट्राइफसफेट के दो फसफेट बड़िए चले जाए ये बोली हे अमो एसाइल एमो एमो एसाइल एडिनाइलेट ठीक है ये बी हमें अमायनो एसाइल एडिनाइलेट तो जैक अमायनो एसिड एडिनाइलेट इटार एनजाइम कि यार एनजाइम होमायनो एसिड ट्रांसफार आर एन एमायनो एसाइल ट्रांसफार आर एन ए सिन्थेटेज अच्छा तरपर कि है ये हे एक्टिवेटेड अमायनो एसिड एक्टिवेटेड अमायनो एसिड ठीक है एबार एक्टिवेटेड अमायनो एसिड तु पे गलि पवार पर तो एमायनो एसिड तो एक्टिवेटेड हो गल यार स्पेसिफिक अमायनो एसिड जो एक्टिवेटेड होमायनो एसिडा मैं अमायनो एसिड ए एम पी कमप्लेक्स अमायनो एसिड एडिन आइलेटा एक्टर ट्रांसफार आर एन एर सोड़ा लागे और फर्म कर अमायनो एसाइल ट्रांसफार आर एन एमायनो एसाइल ट्रांसफार आर एन एमायनो ट्रांसफार आर एन ठीक है प्लस ए एम पीटा बड़िए चले जाए मैं ये एम पीटा बड़िए चले जाए ठीक है एट बेपार कि तरह कि आगे जो शिखलि एखे अमायनो एसिड लोड है एक्सेप्टर आर्मे डिपेंडिंग ऑन व्हाट एंटी कोडोन इट इज कैरिंग बिकज इट उल डिपेंड ऑन हुईच कोडोन इट इज बैंडिंग सो दिस कोडोन कोर्स फर दिस पार्टिकुलार अमायनो एसिड एनीवे एंड सो यही चार्जिंग अफ ट्रांसफार आर एन ए 
তাহলে এটা হচ্ছে অ্যাক্টিভেশন অফ অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিড এটা চার্জিং অফ ট্রান্সফার আর এনে হলো অ্যাকচুয়ালি ট্রান্সফার আর এনের সাথে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা বাইন্ড করে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডের যে তোর তোর অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডের যে তোর সি ও ও এইচ গ্রুপটা থাকে না ধর আর গ্রুপ আছে আর তোর এন এইচ টু গ্রুপ আছে আর এইচ আছে এই সি ও ও এইচ গ্রুপটা থেকে যে এইচটা থাকে হ্যাঁ আর এই যে এইখানে যে লাস্ট নিউক্লিওটাইডটা আছে এখানে এখানে সব সময় লাস্ট নিউক্লিওটাইডটা অ্যাডিনিন থাকে সব সময় যে কোনো ট্রান্সফারার এনের থ্রি প্রাইম এন্ডে তো জোড়া লাগে থ্রি প্রাইম এই যে এই এই আর্মটা অ্যাকসেপ্টার আর্মটায় থ্রি প্রাইম এন্ড থাকে আমি আগেও দেখাইছি এই যে এখানে থ্রি প্রাইম এন্ডে এখানে সব সময় অ্যাডিনাইন থাকে একটা অ্যাডিনাইনের যে থ্রি প্রাইম ও এইচ গ্রুপটা আছে বা টু প্রাইম ও এইচ গ্রুপটা আছে কারণ এটা আর এনে টু প্রাইমের মধ্যে ও এইচ পাবি তার সাথে এই ওইচ আর ও এইচ বন্ড করে জল হয়ে বেরিয়ে গিয়ে ঠিক আছে বন্ড করবে তাই জন্য এখানে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা লেগে থাকে তার মানে চিন্তা করে দেখ সিও এইচের সাথে যদি সব অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডেই তাই হচ্ছে তার মানে এই পাশে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটার এনএইচ টু গ্রুপ ফাঁকা থাকবে ঠিক আছে নেক্সট যখন আসবে একটা চার্জ ট্রান্সফারার এনে এখানে ইমাজিন কর এরকমই এখানে পাশে একটা ইমাজিন কর সেও তার সিও এইচ আর এটার সাথে বন্ড হয়ে থাকবে দাঁড়া আমি পরিষ্কার করে দেখাই না দেখালে বুঝতে পারবি না সাপোজ ধর একটা অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিড আসছে এখানে কি হয়েছে অ্যাডিনাইনের যে থ্রি প্রাইম এন্ড এটা থ্রি প্রাইম ওয়েজ তো থ্রি প্রাইম ওয়েজের সাথেও হতে পারে বা অ্যাডিনাইনের টু প্রাইম ওয়েজের সাথেও লাগতে পারে কে লাগবে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডের সি ও ও এইচ সি ও ও এইচ গ্রুপটার এইচ আর ও এইচ জোড়া লেগে যাবে আর এখানে তো সি এখানে আর এখানে এন এইচ টু তো ফাঁকা হয়েই আছে আর এখানে এইচ তারপর নেক্সট আর একটা ট্রান্সফার আর এনে যখন আসবে ঠিক আছে নেক্সট কোডনটাকে ধর এখানে একটা কোডন এখানে একটা কোডন মানে এটা পাশাপাশি ধর এটা ধর এক্সিস্ট করে না ঠিক আছে এটা জাস্ট জাগার জন্য এরকম মনে হচ্ছে তো যাই হোক আসলো এসে নিয়ে ঠিক আছে ও এখানে একটা ক্যারি করে আসবে আর সেম ওয়েতে ক্যারি করবে এখানে এন এইচ টু ফাঁকা থাকবে এখানে সি ও এইচের সাথে আর ও এইচের সাথে বন্ড হয়ে থাকবে তারপর আসার পরে তখন কি হবে এটা না ফার্স্টে ফার্স্ট অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা যখন ঢোকে ওটা রাইবোজমের পি সাইড দিয়ে ঢোকে নেক্সট অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা এ সাইডে ঢুকবে ঠিক আছে তারপরে কি হবে এইখানে সি ও এইচ বনটা খুলে যাবে ঠিক আছে খুলে গিয়ে ফার্স্টে এখানের বনটা খুলে যাবে খুলে গিয়ে এটা বেরিয়ে ই সাইড দিয়ে বেরিয়ে চলে যাবে ঠিক আছে এবার এটা কি করবে এটা পি সাইডে মুভ করবে আর এর এন এইচ টুটা আর এখানে সি ও এইচ আর ও এইচ যে বন্ড হয়েছিল আডিনারের সাথে সেটা খুলে গিয়ে ওই সি ও এইচ আর এন এইচ টুর সাথে পেপটাইট বন্ড ফর্মেশন হবে ঠিক আছে এখানে যে এন এইচ টু সি আর গ্রুপ এইচ গ্রুপ আর এখানে যে সি ও ও এইচটা ছিল সেটা খুলে গিয়ে এখানে পেপটাইট বন্ড ফর্মেশন হবে তার মানে এই ট্রান্সফার আর নেটা এখন দুটা পেপটাইট ক্যারি করবে এ বেরোয় গেছে কিন্তু আর এ পি সাইটে মুভ করে যাবে ঠিক আছে রাইবোসমের মধ্যে তো এরকম করে জিনিসটা রিপিট হতে থাকে আই হোপ তোরা বুঝতে পারলি যে এই একটা ট্রান্সফার আর আমি সিম্পল করে আঁকলাম আমাইনো অ্যাসিড ক্যারি করে আনলো এটা পি সাইটে আছে এখানে ই সাইট এটা পি সাইট আর এটা এ সাইট ধর রাইবোজমের আরেকজন আসলো ঠিক আছে এখানে এ বন্ড হয়ে আসছে বন্ডটা কিসের সাথে হয়েছিল এখানে যে চার্জ ট্রান্সফার আরেনটা আসছে ওটা জেনারেলি সিও এইচ আর ও এইচের সাথে ও এইচ অফ দ্য অ্যাডিনাইনের সাথে বন্ড হয়ে আছে এটা বেরিয়ে বন্ড হয়েছিল তারপর এখানে আসার পর ওই বন্ডটা ভেঙে সেই সিও এইচ যেটা অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডের সিও এইচ অ্যাকচুয়ালি ঠিক আছে আর তার মানে এন এইচ টুটা এখানে থাকবে ঠিক আছে আর সিও এইচ এখানে এন এইচ এখানে তো এন এইচ টুটা ফাঁকাই ছিল বন্ড করে যাবে পেপটাইট বন্ড ফর্ম করবে তাই জন্যই বলে সি টার্মিনাল এন্ড থেকে এন টার্মিনাল এন্ড অব দি পেপটাইট বন্ড সিনথেসিস হয় ঠিক আছে আর এটা রিপিট করতে থাকবে ই সাইড দিয়ে বেরিয়ে যেতে থাকবে তো আই হোপ যে তোরা এই জিনিসটা বুঝলি তাহলে যাই হোক তোরা শিখলি যে কিভাবে চার্জিং অফ ট্রান্সফার আর এনে হয় তারপরে ট্রান্সফার আর এনে কার 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 সাথে বন্ড হয় যে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা স্পেসিফিক অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা আসবে সেই স্পেসিফিক অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা টু প্রাইম বা থ্রি প্রাইম ও এইচের সাথে সি ও এইচের সাথে বন্ড হয়ে থাকে এটা ফার্স্ট কথা এই 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 দুটা রিয়াকশানকেই ক্যাটালাইজ করে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসাইল ট্রান্সফার আর এনে সিনথেসিস এটাকেও ক্যাটালাইজ করে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসাইল ট্রান্সফার ট্রান্সফার আর এনে সিনথেটিস এটাকেও ক্যাটালাইজ করে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসাইল ট্রান্সফার আর এনে সিনথেটিস সেটা কিন্তু 
বুঝতে হবে হ্যাঁ একটাই এনজাইম আর এই এনজাইমটা স্পেসিফিক হয় ঠিক আছে যেমন যদি এখানে অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিডটা গ্লাইসিন হয় তাহলে গ্লাইসিন অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসাইল ট্রান্সফারানের সিনথেসিস যদি অ্যালানিন হয় তাহলে অ্যালানিনের স্পেসিফিক এনজাইম আলাদা আলাদা এর তার মানে এরকম কুড়িটা এনজাইমস থাকে আই হোপ যে এই জায়গাটা তোরা বুঝতে পারলি যে চার্জিং অফ ট্রান্সফার আর এনে আর অ্যাক্টিভেশন অফ অ্যামাইনো অ্যাসিড এবার আসবে হচ্ছে অ্যাক্টিভেশন অফ রাইবোজোম ওকে নাও ইনিশিয়েশন অফ দ্য অফ দ্য পলিপেপটাইট চেন না ইনিশিয়েশন অফ দ্য পলিপেপটাইট চেন হাউ দ্য ইনিশিয়েশন অফ দ্য পলিপেপটাইট চেন অকার্স ইজ দ্যাট অ্যাট ফার্স্ট ডু ইউ রিমেম্বার দ্যাট আই টোল্ড ইউ দ্যাট দেয়ার ইজ দ্য মেসেঞ্জার আর এন এ অ্যান্ড দেয়ার ইজ আ ফাইভ প্রাইম ইউটিআর রিজন আনট্রান্সলেটেড রিজন হুইচ ইজ অলসো নোন এজ লিডার সিকুয়েন্স হুইচ রাই লাই ইজ দ্য আপস্ট্রিম অফ দ্য স্টার্ট কোডোন অ্যান্ড দ্য রাইবোজোম গেটস অ্যাক্টিভেটেড ইন দিস ওয়ে দ্যাট ইজ দ্য অ্যাক্টিভেশন অফ দ্য রাইবোজোম অকার্স ইন দিস ওয়ে ফার্স্ট দ্য স্মল সাব ইউনিট থ্রু দ্য রাইবোজোমাল আর এন এ কমপ্লেক্স বাইন্ডস উইথ দ্য বেস অফ দ্য অ্যাকচুয়ালি দ্য ফাইভ স্ট্রা ফাইভ প্রাইম ইউটিআর রিজন অর লিডার সিকুয়েন্স ইজ কমপ্লিমেন্টারি টু দ্য এইটিন এস অর দ্য সিক্সটিন এস রাইবোজোমাল আর এন এ দ্যাট ইজ প্রেজেন্ট ইন দ্য স্মল সাব ইউনিট অফ দ্য রাইবোজোম দ্যাট ইজ দ্য থার্টি এস ইন কেস অফ ইউকারিওস প্রোকারিওস অ্যান্ড ফর্টি এস ইন কেস অফ ইউকারিওস হোয়াট এভার অ্যান্ড দে বাইন্ড ওকে অ্যান্ড ইন দিস ওয়ে অ্যান্ড লাটার অন দ্য লার্জ সাব ইউনিট কামস অ্যান্ড বাইন্ডস and the requirement for this process is a lot of mg plus 2 ions okay and they bind in the utr region so that is the first thing and this is the activation of ribosome this and the assembly of the transfer rna which will now the slowly the uh, ribosome will move this is the 5 prime this is the 3 prime and slowly the ribosome will move in this direction there will be polyribosome in the uh, prokaryotic because they are polycystronic as you know as i told you many ribosomes will be there polycystron uh, because they are polycystronic uh, messenger rna lots of proteins will come out from the same messenger rna however so in the cytoplasm this is occurring now <coughs> the transfer rna then wait when it will move the first transfer rna will come and bind to the, the ribosome will come at this position and the first transfer rna will come and bind the first transfer rna carries which uh, whose start coton is a au g to that is 5 prime to 3 prime so it should be 5 prime to 3 prime it should be uh, g means c a u u a c okay so this should be the anti coton and this codes for i think formyl methionine formyl methionine formyl methionine in case of eukaryotes but only methionine in case of prokaryotes that also you remember formyl methionine in case of eukaryotes but only methionine in case of prokaryotes anyway and <coughs> hence this entire thing is known as the translation initiation complex translation initiation complex now the translation will go on as mentioned earlier part of this video that how the translation will go on will carry on and more and more uh, transfer rnas will come uh, first transfer rna enters to the p site because what happens in the ribosome if you see the ribosome in the ribosome there is e site p site and a site at first the p site is vacant so first transfer rna will come and bind to the p through the p site the next will bind through the a site peptide bond of the both the amino acids will occur and this p site wala transfer rna will move through the e site and a site wala transfer rna will come to the p site as you know recognizing the codons present in the uh, what we can say uh, messenger rna and this will go on and the peptide bond will go on as explained earlier so this occurs this is the initiation of the polypeptide chain this is how uh, the translation goes on see to move the initiation complex i am saying it will move initiation complex will move uh, in this direction or messenger rna will move in this direction whatever it is the ribosomes moving in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction this is carried out by certain proteins known as the or the working of the initiation uh, complex depends on certain proteins known as ifs or initiation mm. 
आई एफ्स और इनिशिएशन फैक्टर्स इन यू करियोट्स दिज आई एफ्स आर नोन एज ई आई एफ्स और यू करियोटिक इनिशिएशन फैक्टर्स सो दिज इन यू का ई फॉर यू करियोटिक इनिशिएशन फैक्टर्स दिज इनिशिएशन फैक्टर्स कैरी आउट द वर्किंग ऑफ द इनिशिएशन कॉम्प्लेक्स वॉट आर इन्फॉर्म इन्वॉल्व इन द इनिशिएशन कॉम्प्लेक्स द मेसेंजर आर एन ए द राइबोजोम्स द ट्रांसफर आर एन ए आर द इनिशिएशन कॉम्प्लेक्स वेर डज द इनिशिएशन कॉम्प्लेक्स बाइंड ऑफ द मैसेजर आर एन ए इट बाइंड इन द लीडर सिक्वेंस एज मैंशन इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द मैसेजर आर एन ए बिफोर ओके सो दैट इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग You see the energy of the movement. Actually, working of the initiation complex is given by IFs and EIFs. But the energy for movement of the complex or the uh, polyribosome structure or the messenger RNA this side is carried out by hydrolysis or breaking down of GTP into G, DP, and PI. This serves the energy for the translation. Remember that. Okay. So in that way, translation is occurring. <coughs> and i uh, as i said that um, uh, at the first uh, au g ko recognize karne wala jo um, uh, transfer rna hai that uh, codes for formyl methionine okay the formyl methionine later on is taken away by the enzyme known as known as amino pep tidase because you see in every protein synthesis this will be the start codon and in every protein this will be the first amino acid but every protein may not require this amino acid so amino peptidase takes up this formyl methionine from the protein okay so that is one thing and sometimes formyl methionine needs to be converted into methionine in eukaryotic cell okay so the formyl is removed by the enzyme formyl lays so you have to remember this so that is the initiation i hope that you have understood the initiation part so uh, up to how much we have learned we already have an idea of how how the elongation of polypeptide occurs is just now a matter of time we understand the entire process in full details so we understand the elongation part now it is pretty easy to understand the elongation part you see in the leader sequence that is 5 prime untranslated sequence the ribosome comes and binds that you already know and then the rib uh, messenger rna moves in this direction or maybe the ribosome moves in this direction whatever it is then what will happen the ribosome will be present on the start codon aug and that <coughs> first transfer rna will come in the p site this is the e site and this is the a site p site is known as peptidal transference binding site a site is amino acyl transferase uh, sorry amino acyl trna binding site this is peptidal tra trna transfer uh, binding site okay both and this is the exit site so now what will happen first transfer rna will come and bind and here one amino acid will be there which will be formyl methionine which you know and the transfer rna is bound with the sorry amino acid is bound with the transfer rna here is the anti codon of the transfer rna with an oh coh bond however later on the c will become free here nh2 will become another transfer rna will come and here c and nh2 peptide bond will form and this will occur now let us uh, try to learn in details now what will happen reading the next codon okay next transfer already charged transfer rna already charged already made transfer rna in the cytosol will come already made transfer rna in the cytosol will come here to recognize this codon guc so guc codes for which protein let's see guc uh this is a codon dictionary g u c g u c code for valin so next who will come next a charge transfer rna with valin will come this charging how it is formed it was explained earlier okay and the valin the that transfer rna will enter what will be the anti codon present here g u c 5 prime to 3 prime so 
if this is the five uh, three prime end because it is charging occurs at the three prime end amino acid binds at the three prime end. this is the five prime end so <coughs> this will be your five prime and this will be your three prime end now what will happen it will be uh, sorry this will be your three prime and this will be your five prime end and the bonding will occur in this way anyway the present will be g u c so c a g c a g will be present and that will get charged with valine and which will come here and the ribosome will move or the messenger rna move and through the a site it will enter right or wrong through the a site it will enter and the transfer rna will bind here and the another amino acid will be valine will be at first formyl methionine is there and now valine and there will be peptide bond formation and these will continue to go on and by reading this codon whatever from the codon dictionary from the codon dictionary whatever is the uh, uh, amino acid coded from that codon the anti the transfer rna ca carrying the exact anti codon and the exact amino acid of the codon will come and keep on binding and this way they will move on okay and the peptidal bond will continue to occur now what are the events here going on is at first codon recognition so codon recognition is going on which you understood how the codon recognition is occurring i hope you have understood and second is peptide bond formation peptide bond formation so uh, the peptide bond formation that is occurring okay who is carrying out the peptide bond formation you see remember the peptide bond formation is carried out by ribosomal rna which is the present in the large sub unit of the ribosomal rna that is 16s ribosomal rna in case of prokaryotes and 18s ribosomal rna in case of eukaryotes they actually act as ribozymes and catalyzes the formation of peptide bond and what happens once the peptide bond formation is over suppose this is e side of the ribosome this is the p side of the ribosome this is the a side of the ribosome the transfer rna which was carrying this the in the active side another came the peptide bond occurred this transfer rna as the messenger rna now moves the the anti the codon was here right the uh, codon was here here was complementary bonding here was complementary bonding now the peptide as the trans ribo the ribosome moves in this direction or the messenger rna moves in this direction whatever it is the codon on the anti codon bonding complementary trilby will be break the transfer rna will move into the e site and move out of the ribosome but what will happen this peptide bond will hold with this transfer rna means the second transfer rna which is at the a site will now hold two amino acid okay so this that is why this is not only amino acyl uh, transfer rna this is di amino acyl transfer rna too okay and now as because this bond has also broken the p site will move here so actually you can understand that this transfer rna has moved to the p site okay now the a site will again be vacant and the another uh transfer rna will come which will recognize this codon then another will come which will recognize this codon and this cycle will go on this cycle takes 0.1 second and the movement the energy of the movement gets is obtained from the, the this is known as translocation see the this is known as trans location what is known as translocation the movement of the transfer rna from the a site to the p site from the amino acyl entry site to the peptidal site is known as translocation and energy from uh, for it i told you previously also that energy is obtained for the movement from the breaking down of gtp and energy for the translocation is obtained from breaking down of gtp into gtp plus pi i hope that this entire elongation is clear and this will carry on and read the entire messenger rna so uh, as if it is eukaryotic uh, then it will occur if it is prokaryotic messenger rna then another here will be a stop codon maybe and another ribosome structure another ribosome structure and a polyribosome structure will form however there will be an last an anti codon okay uh, which is the stop codon no sorry not anti codon codon which is a stop codon and at that place uh, translation will stop for the elongation for the initiation if factors are required for the elongation ef factors are required or known as the elongation factors i hope that you have understood whatever i tried to mention here okay so that is the elongation and at last but not the least termination is occurring at the termination point at the termination point what happens is the ribosomes become free and go away from the messenger rna this you have to remember and that is carried out by rf factor okay 
the termination is carried out by RF proteins. And always remember, the transfer RNA which is moving away from the E side are now uncharged transfer RNA and can again, because this anticodon is conserved, it can again come back with another, uh, what we can say, charged uh, amino acid with it. Okay, so that can happen. So I hope that this entire uh, thing is understood, this time gap is remembered and entire all the factors and everything is understood by you. So that was translation for you, my friends. Oh, another thing, as the proteins are being made, as you know, there is a canal through this, and through the canal, the protein is transferred into the endoplasmic reticulum through the canal present in the large subunit of the ribosome. So that is the details and the entire details of your translation.